we are getting so close to having an elegant solution to this problem. It's, 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 it's really exciting. Let's address a few other issues we have. The main issue I want to address is that if I want to stop at zero, meaning just calculate two to the zero right here, we won't do that. All right, our, our loop right now, we're going to go to the next power, and we'll do the multiply, and then we'll go through, and we'll go to the next power, and then we'll do the add. And at that point, we'll finally get around and check, hey, is, is count less than zero? And we won't jump there, and so we will return. Well, how far did we get in our equation at this point? Well, we did the 2 to the 1 and the 2 to the 2. So when I say let's go to 2 to the 0, we've done 2 to the 0 times 2 to the 1 plus 2 to the 2. Not ideal. So to remedy that, we need to change our uh, logic a little bit. Let me erase all this. We need to do our check at the beginning of the loop, not at the end. If you're familiar with higher level languages, what we've constructed here is a do while loop. If you're not higher, familiar with higher level languages, don't worry about it. But basically, our check needs to be the first thing that we do. So I'm going to grab our checking code right here, control X, put it up here, essentially making a while loop as far as higher level languages are concerned. Compare count to our upper bound, and then I want to say, hey, if we're equal to the, our upper bound, which in this case is zero, then jump equal to done. And what where's, What's done, we'll put done right here. We will say we are done, it's just a label. So when we do two to the zero, we're, we're done before we even started. We never iterate through this loop. We're, we're done, let's get out of here. All right, and this will actually work for the cases two to the one, two to the two, two to the three. Uh, every, we now check for our done condition at the beginning of the loop instead of the end. But it still doesn't solve the problem that we take two steps, one, two, we take two steps per every iteration of the loop. So here's two steps, and here's two steps, and oh, there's two steps. And then here's another two steps. And so if I put five here, well, that's fine and dandy, but I'll actually go five, six. I'll step right past five and do six, and thus we're really not going to five anymore. And that's, that's not ideal. Okay, that's not, definitely not our goal. Let me clear this off here. Over here. How are we going to solve this problem? Any idea? Pause the video and think about it if you need to. I'll give you a hint if you know higher level languages. If else, what we need is to have one iteration of the loop complete one step. Instead of two steps, one iteration is matched to one step. So we do a multiply and then we check. Do an add, then we check. Do a multiply, then we check. Do an add, then we check. Multiply and check, and so on and so forth. So each iteration, every time we go through the loop, we only go one step instead of two. So how are we going to do that? Well, we need to use our branching constructs as we've seen before, which means we're going to have to do some comparisons. But what are we going to compare on? We need to track the count. If we're going up to, if, if we're on an even count here, so let's say we're two to the zero, there's a ghost addition here, I'll draw, there's an addition sign. If we're at an even power, so zero, two, four, six, we need to do an addition. But if we're at an odd power, then we need to do a multiplication. So one, we do the multiplication. Three, we do the multiplication. Five, we do the multiplication. Remember, we raise to the next power before we do our multiply right here. So <coughs> that's why I'm saying we need to look at the power of the number to the right of the operator. Even powers, we do additions. Odd powers, we do multiplications. How do we do that? With a modulus operation, which is basically checking the remainder. I'm going to talk about that and show that to you in the next video because that's that's going to take a little bit of time to explain if you're not familiar with it. If you are familiar with it, feel free to skip over the next video.